Hi friends, inspired from my book, The Power of Self Talk, I'm again back with a very interesting topic. Today I'm going to talk about the topic about decision making, that when I say no, it means no. By the time this video will end, you will understand what exactly is the meaning of decision making. What does it mean when I say it means no? And what happens when we don't follow our words, then whether people trust ourselves or not? And what we can do to make sure that whatever I see, I mean that and people also trust me. Let me start with a very interesting and a sweet story about two friends, Neelam and Sagar. Both were studying in school and they had an arts competition. So Neelam decided to make a cartoon character and Sagar decided to make a different character. And they both practiced a lot. So next day when they both went to the school for the competition, Neelam started preparing herself with respect to preparing that cartoon. When she was halfway through, she just looked around our, herself and she found that there are some other students who are making some very exotic pictures of skyscrapers and so many other things. She felt that making a cartoon character is not going to win her this competition and she decided to change and she started making a different painting. After a while, when she was halfway through, she realized that some people are making something with respect to sustainability, which is very normal and which is something which is to the part of time which is as of time. She thought that now I need to do something new because whatever I am doing now again is not going to make any impact and she started doing a new painting. By the time she could complete it, the time ended. Now when the time ended, Sagar started showing his image and it was really beautiful. But when he asked Neelam to show her picture, she decided not to because she knew that she has not done a good work. Something similar happens in her life too. We decide to go a particular way, but on our way, we find some people and they say that no, this is not the right way, go this way. Then we go that way. When we go that way, we also realize that some people are saying that no, no, this is not the good way, go other way. And in a way, we are taking so many decisions, but we are not able to decide what is right for me. Steve Jobs has said a very interesting thing. He said, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow know what you truly want to be. But what happens in our real life, just like Neela, what happened to her when she was making the picture, something similar happened in our life too. We think about doing something, but then we get distracted, we go to a different path, then we again go in that path, then again we get distracted. And what happens is that at times we feel that we are much more smarter, we are much more intelligent than others. Say as simple as that, when you are watching a football or cricket match, we often try to tell the players that what they are doing right or wrong. When we are watching a movie, we often say that why this actor is playing in this way, why not that character plays in that particular way. And at times it also happens that when we see the politicians who are playing different roles, we often tell them that this is not right, this is right. These days Paris Olympic is going on. We often say that why the government is not doing enough, why the plays are not doing enough. So there are so many suggestions and guides, guidance that we are trying to give to others. But we don't realize that what is happening in our life. Whatever I have decided whether actually I am doing it that way or not. It could be as simple as that I decided I would wake up 6 o'clock in the morning. How often I am waking up at that time. I may have decided that I need to do some extra course so that I can improve my skills and so that I can go to the next level. But I am spending majority of my time doing gossiping and maybe binge watching OTT series. And there can be so many things I am doing it because I don't have control over myself. And then it often happens that when we suggest people something and then don't agree to us, we often feel that they are not very intelligent people, I understand things much better than them and there are so many things happens. Many times it also happens that we take some decision. We think that no, this is the right thing to do. So for example, we decide that I will not have non-vegetarian food, I will not take any alcoholic drink. But then when we are sitting in a group of people and they insist again and again, we think that it is good for relationship building and it will add more power to my relationship and then we agree to them and we start eating and drinking. What we don't realize is that when people see that we don't trust ourselves, when we change our decisions so easily, at that time they also don't trust us. It has been very very righteous every Dr. Abdul Kalam. He said, luck is not in your hand but decision is in your hand. Luck cannot make your decision but your decisions can make your life. 
So what needs to be done? Should we agree to everyone, people what you are saying or we should do what we are thinking? I think the most important thing is that in case we want to influence people, first of all, we should create an aura around us wherein whatever we are saying people should trust and that can only happen when whatever we say we mean that. If we say no to something, then it means no to something. When we say yes to something, then we are meaning yes to something. When we start doing that, then people start trusting us, people start believing in ourselves. It could be as simple as that we have decided that I will not see the social media more than two hours. How much I follow? If I am following it, that increases my influence. I have decided that I will do meditation every day. How often I am doing it? I have decided that I will not eat the dinner after 8 pm. How much time it happens that whatever I am saying to myself, I am doing that. And there can be so many small, small little things that we are doing every day. When we start achieving what we are saying, then our influence is then people start believing that whatever we are seeing is right and they start trusting us. There is a very good thing which has been said that incredible change happens in your life when you decide to take control of what you do have power over instead of craving control over what you don't have. So what needs to be done in that? The simplest and the easiest thing is to start trusting ourselves. When we say yes, we mean to say yes. When we say no, it means no. And when we start doing that, then people start trusting us because they know that whatever you are saying, that really means something. But that does not mean that we should become too rigid in that. But that means that people understand our perspective, we understand their perspective and then we are willing to adjust and accommodate with respect to each other's feeling. It's not that we are trying to hurt someone, but we have certain thought processes in mind that and we want to follow that in the way in which we think. It has been very, very rightly said that a decision is nothing more than a choice to eliminate other options and follow your path with determination. My dear friends, if I talk about myself, I often take decision and follow that. At times it happens that I think that whether it is right or wrong and I start questioning myself. But then many a time I have realized that if I trust myself, then people also trust me more because they know that whatever I think right, I believe in that. I am challenging myself. What you are doing. I am looking for your feedback. Thank you.